uh, I rise today along with uh, my colleague from Missouri, uh, Senator Blunt, to offer a couple of amendments that um, have been filed and that I hope we get an opportunity to vote on before this process concludes. But if you look at the, the base uh, Democrat budget that's been put before us, it's got it, large tax increases in it. In fact, uh, up to $1.5 trillion in new taxes. What we would attempt to do is to ensure that those taxes, higher taxes, uh, not come by limiting capping or, elim or, or eliminating, I should say, the federal tax deduction for charitable giving. We've got uh, tens of millions of Americans who remain mired in poverty. Government budgets are more constrained than ever before. And what fills that gap, Madam President, is the charitable giving. It's, the, uh, it's the, the, the generosity of people around this country who keep organizations going that are, improve, or, uh, that are providing these essential and basic functions for many Americans. In fact, in 2011, Americans gave nearly $300 billion to support charitable causes. This gener not, generosity not only helps to feed the hungry and clothe the needy, it has a real budgetary impact because this is an instance where the private sector is fulfilling the need, a need that otherwise would have to be met by government spending. Unfortunately, as we know, the White House has proposed limiting the value of itemized deductions for those earning above $200,000 for singles and $250,000 for married couples to 28 percent. Now, previous estimates were that this proposal would reduce charitable donations by up to $5.6 billion per year. As the Charitable Giving Coalition has recently uh, stated, that amounts to the more than the annual budgets of the Red Cross, Goodwill, the YMCA, Habitat for Humanity, the Boys and Girls Clubs, Catholic Charities, and the American Cancer Society combined. But even this impact understates the degree to which charitable giving could be harmed under the White House proposal because we now have a new baseline with a higher top income tax rate. A new study by the American Enterprise Institute estimates that the President's itemized limitation under the new tax rates will lower total giving by individuals by more than $9.4 billion per year. Madam President, we ought to be exploring new options to expand charitable giving rather than limiting the charitable deduction in order to fund higher levels of government spending. If we're going to explore any changes to the charitable deduction or any other tax provisions that we have in the tax code today, it ought to be in the context of pro-growth, revenue-neutral tax reform, not as a way to pay for higher spending, which is what uh, these proposals would do. I hope the vote on this amendment this time around will be just as broad and bipartisan as the one that I offered back in 2009, where we got 94 votes uh, in support.